My name is Katie, I'm a resident with Kelly Ross Pharmacy Group, and today I'd like to talk to you about drug interactions. A lot of us have had this happen to us. We'll go into a pharmacy, pick up a new medication, and then talk to the pharmacist and hear specific directions on how to take that medication. Whether or not it's to take it with food on an empty stomach, or with or without some of our other medications. And it can leave a lot of us wondering why that is. And the main reason for that is because there can be drug interactions that happen within our body that can cause the drug to either be more effective than we want it to, to have it have less of an effect than we want it to, or to increase the risk of side effects, none of which we want. So in order to do so, we need your help to detect and manage drug interactions. Pharmacists and doctors do the best they can, but without all of the information which will come from you as the patient, we can't do our job fully. So one of the ways to do that is to try to fill out one pharmacy if possible. So I know that's not always possible, so if you go to a new pharmacy, they'll usually give you a new patient intake form, and it will usually include allergies or other medications that you're taking. So this is your opportunity to write down all the medications you have, whether or not it's a supplement, over-the-counter medication, or a vitamin, because you never know what might be interacting with your medications. There might be no problem, or there might be a big problem that we wanna make sure we're managing appropriately. So, when you're at new pharmacies, let them know all the medications you're taking, so that way we can detect and manage. Also, you'll want to keep a medication list for your records, so that way you can take it to different doctor's appointments. A lot of us have just one doctor, but a lot of us also see specialists, whether that's an endocrinologist, cardiologist, oncologist, the list goes on. So these doctors try their best to communicate with one another, but sometimes their systems don't allow them to talk as quickly and easily as they'd like. So it's important for you as the patient to keep an ongoing list of your medications, which should include the medication name, strength, and directions, whether you take one a day, two a day, what have you, and take that to each doctor's appointment to let them know what you're taking. That way, if your cardiologist prescribes something, your primary care provider can know about it. This medication list needs to include supplements, over-the-counter medications, and vitamins, because often these are the culprits in drug interactions. If you'd like to find out more information about specific types of drug interactions, please stay tuned for more videos. Also, if you have a specific question about a drug interaction that pertains to you or one of your family members, please reach out to one of our pharmacists or visit our website to submit a question that will be answered by our pharmacist with a specific answer just for you.